authors, it's Melody here. Welcome to Author Nation, your go-to resource for everything you need to become a non-fiction author, from planning to promotion and everything in between. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing an oldie but a goodie, Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. So who is Anne Lamott? She is the daughter of American writer Kenneth Lamott. So she has been in the writing world. She's understood the glory of writing all of her life. She's written about 20 books. So I'd say her advice is, well, based on experience, I'd listen to it. And it is a fabulous book. Lamont sits on the side of looking for inspiration, your muse, but she also believes in getting your butt in the chair and writing your 300 words a day. So there's a bit of both. So if you are not feeling inspired and you're still run, sitting in your chair writing your 300 words a day, a lot of it will be garbage, some of it will be gems, gems, and that's just the way it is if you're a writer. She packages her good advice with her sardonic wit. She uses her own writing life, her own relationships, her own friends and family as examples. If you read the book, you'll understand. She doesn't seem to like all other authors. Um, she uh, suffers jealousy sometimes. We'll get to that. And whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction, she implores you to keep your eyes open and your ears perked. Observe, listen to everything around you so you can find good material for your writing and turn that fine-tuned observation inward as well because there's a richness of material inside you. The book is divided into five parts. The first four, writing, writing frame of mind, help along the way, and publication are all fairly self-explanatory. Publication and other reasons to write struck me as some advice that is out of the ordinary, something I don't normally hear from publication or publishing experts. So I found that really interesting. Many would be authors see publication as the holy grail of writing, but she says there are other equally important and uh, valuable and fulfilling reasons to write. The last section, the last class, is this little tiny section that gives advice such as write for vengeance, but do it nicely and don't libel yourself. Although there is some how-to in the book, there are no exercises laid out for you. You can take what she's written, she's, you can take her advice, and you can apply it in your own way. So who is this book for? Well, if you want to write, it's for you. If you like to write and you feel neurotic about your writing and sharing what you write, the book's for you. If you write and get jealous of other writers, this book's for you. If you need writing advice that isn't boring, this book's for you. If you like to laugh and write, this book's for you. That covers most of us, I'd say. So if you want to be an author, published or not, put this on your reading list. And if nothing else, Anne Lamott is quotable. And I quote, I had secretly believed that trumpets would blare, major reviewers would proclaim that not since Moby Dick had an American novel so captured life in all of its dizzying complexity. And this is what I thought when my second novel came out, and my third, and my fourth, and my fifth and each time I was wrong. But I still encourage anyone who feels compelled to write to do so. The link to this book is in the description. If you don't already have a copy, get one. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear your comments. If you've written the, if, if you've written the book, no, only Anne Lamott can do that. If you've read the book, please drop me a comment. Tell me what you thought of it. What was your favorite passage? And of course, subscribe. Thank you.